Jimmy Q with a check of our forecast this morning. Perfect Halloween forecast. Oh, thank you. I couldn't you. have asked for anything better. It was gorgeous. Yeah, wicked cool out there. Well. Wicked hot. Oh, wicked. It was wicked good. Anyways, a great. Hopefully you had a wonderful, uh, wonderful Halloween, everybody. And right now we are going to start out on the chilly side to start things off. We got 55 in Tempe. Big shout out there in Guadalupe Mesa. 55, Queen Creek 55. But we do have some 40s out there too. Gilbert 47 and Buckeye checking in at 49 degrees. Vanessa, we're going to be below average for today, but you really can't complain about 78 degrees. Amazing. Get out and do stuff kind of weather. All right, we'll do. Thank you, Jimmy. The time is six o'clock. I do have an update for you this morning. The one accident that was causing major delays on the I-10 eastbound at 75th Avenue has cleared up. However, we still have busy traffic all the way from the Loop 101 to the accident site, so you still need a few extra minutes to get through that area. There are a few other accidents around the valley, but I'll give you those details coming up in my next report. Paul and Emma. All right, thanks, Vanessa. Let's get you up to speed as you start your Thursday morning. While you were asleep, firefighters were busy battling a fire in South Phoenix. This was at a construction site near Central and Dobbins. Firefighters are calling it suspicious. Thankfully, they were able to contain that fire and prevent it from spreading. We're getting our first look at U.S. troops making their way to the border as President Trump says he could deploy up to 15,000 troops there. We're learning some of the troops will be housed at Davis Montham Air Force Base in Tucson and likely at Arizona's Fort Oaxaca. More than 5,000 soldiers left from several different sites this week in support of Operation Faithful Patriot. The president made that decision Monday as a caravan of migrants continues to make its way toward the United States from Central America. At last check, they were still 800 or so miles out. The troops are expected to provide planning, engineering, logistics, and transportation support to Homeland Security. The question of President Trump's executive powers and whether he can end birthright citizenship is still a major debate. And now we're hearing from Governor Doug Ducey up for re-election about his thoughts on the topic. Listen to this. I, I, I believe in the Constitution. And uh, there, are, there are ways to change the Constitution. Uh, there's a, an amendment process. And uh, you can have legal challenges as, as well. I think the language is pretty clear. You think the language is clear and anyone born in this country is entitled I believe, to I believe United the United States American citizenship? I believe the language is clear. At a campaign rally yesterday, President Trump said the constitutional guarantee that children born in the U.S. are granted citizenship was a crazy policy. Just five days out from the midterms, and the Arizona Senate race remains one of the most watched in the country. Later this morning, Donald Trump Jr. will join Republican Martha McSally for a get out the vote event in Sun City. It begins at 11 a.m. at the West Valley GOP office. In the meantime, Democratic nominee for Senate Kirsten Sinema will be in Phoenix for a get out the vote event with Valley veterans. That begins at noon at the Veterans for Cinema phone bank at 7th Avenue and Camelback. Don't forget, 12 News is your source for complete live coverage on election night. You'll be able to watch us live right here on 12 News, as well as our website, 12news.com, and our Facebook page.